Quorum, do you like Batman? Batman. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Except for mm -hmm. he doesn't do anything good and he does YouTube videos that may or may not actually help criminals, but might he might be helping them. That's not Batman. No, that's Mama Max. Do what? Banana Bear Show. So there's been a lot of controversy recently with Mama Max. He's a big YouTuber that goes after PDF files. And he has gone after a new guy recently um, with allegations. And it's not gone over so well uh, because he won't release information and a lot of other things that are going on. It just seems a little sketchy. Well, ah. come to find out. There's a lot more sketchy stuff in his other videos where he supposedly caught people and turned people into the authorities. Some of that may or may not have happened, and some of it might have actually been done by him, like as a dramatization. Just watch this video and check out uh, Lorex, I think is how you say it, and YouTube. Uh, the channel will be in the description below. Pet file hunt. Claimed pet file hunter. I'm the pedo hunting guy. Who has gained a massive audience, respect from his peers, and a more than generous living via his Patreon that his fans donate to him based on the understanding that he's cleaning up the streets catching pet files. But that's not true. He's a complete fraud. He has faked videos, lied about arrests he's made, mishandled investigations so poorly he actually helps the predators get away, falsely accuses people of being pet files entirely, doxes innocent people, and a lot more, all while exploiting his audience directly saying that by paying him helps bring justice to the world. Sounds like a good guy, like Batman, right? Wow. Yeah. Bruh. Yeah. This is kind of like what Keem started to that one guy. Mm hmm You remember? It was an old dude. He did Let's Plays, and uh, Keemstar is like, well, this guy's a pedophile. Mm. And it was, the guy had the same name, but he wasn't. Uh, and yeah. It made the guy cry, and like on stream. And then, because Keemstar is like, he's not perfect, and I know that was like the worst thing he's ever done. And Because, uh, what was it? E not to get off top topic, but it was like uh, uh, E3, or whatever the guy's name is that they, they feuded. He's feuded with a lot of people. Uh, well, the guy that like, you know, blinks a lot. A lot of like, people blink a lot. I don't no, I'm no, not no, sure. Like his, his wife is from, uh, uh, Israel. Oh, uh, Eth um, Ethan, Ethan. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. He brought that to attention. So like this could happen. Mm hmm. Getting rid of pedophiles is a great thing. You know, I, certain calipers are the only way to get rid of them, but like, uh, I I commend that. But the problem, though, is with YouTubers doing it, it's when they're not law enforcement. So you're already, you're helping the pre the predator out by having them not serve time. Mm -hmm. um, and you're, you're warning them basically to, hey, you're on radar. Mm -hmm. You better be more careful. Um, second is because you did that, all your evidence is bullshit because you did it for profit. Yes. Any comment on that? <laughs> uh, it's not. Way <laughs> you can watch my back real good by supporting me on Patreon. Link in description. But I think it's safe to say that I am no. That's him right there. By the way, and he drops his voice. That's not his natural voice. I was so gonna say he sounds like corpse. Yeah. Yeah, he, it's it's an audio thing he does. No longer safe from the likes of Aleph. But as I said, I'm not going to live a life being afraid of standing up to evil people. And the best way you can help me, non-jokingly, truly, seriously, is supporting me on Patreon. Shameless. And in his next video, he says the deadly cult is now trying to attack him by sending him death threats in his email box and sending him a video game that apparently gives people brain hemorrhages. Today... I'm going to apparently risk my life for you, 
and play this game. In the video, I specifically mentioned that this cult may now be targeting me. And from what it looks like, that may be true. She responded back in Japanese saying this, which means... I'll kill you. Wow, Mama Max is so committed to bringing us good entertainment and content. He's even willing to risk his own life for us. Man, what a fucking good guy. I know it sounds crazy, but this has got to be real, right? Mama Max wouldn't lie about his life being in danger for more donos on Patreon. I mean, it seems like his fans bought it. This man has risked his life multiple times so he could expose some dangerous sites and games. Well, people are dumb. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I so could, I could, I could tell this. Like, Today, I'm going to call up Five Nights at Freddy's. Hello, Freddy. You're going to kill me, guys. They're going to kill me. You guys got to support me on Patreon. That's what it sounds like. It, like something dumb like that. And everyone's like, oh my God, I killed Freddy. Um, yeah. Uh, so you get the idea. He's, he's kind of like Batman. He's, he says he's a filmographer the type person. Who the fuck's like Batman? You, that analogy sucks, Mikey. He's literally, I'm, a, I, I'm Chris Hansen, but I got a deeper voice. Watch my show. Monica Take a seat. KC157434 takes her own life after being groomed and raped by a man she met on the platform. Is there an update on Casey? Can you talk about how you got into the account or how you found it? Um, that, yeah, that's that's a bit much. I can't talk too much about KC. So that's his regular voice, by the way. Um, so he gets into these live streams and he does live streams. Um, so Casey is like one of his first cases that he uh, did a video on and um, he said that she risked her life. Like, like I said, just a minute ago, like she got stuff done to her and like he wouldn't talk about her and it, People are asking him about it. He's like, I, I can't talk too much about Casey, but I'm, she's alive. Uh, Is this why he? I don't know what I can and can't say. See, he, he's I will shady. tell you that. Yes, she's okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, thank God! I didn't even know that. Holy shit! Thank God. Takes her own life. Yes, she's okay. Is this? So he, she takes her own life, but then she's okay girl Casey even a real person? He claims in his video that he found her no subscriber YouTube channel through a reverse image search using her profile picture on the game IMVU where he then hacked this girl's YouTube channel and found an unlisted video called this is where you raped and killed me which is a video that shows assumingly Casey filming the site of her rape and has bloody sheets and a pillow in the middle of the woods. So if the narratives are fake you not only lied about her death but also that she was raped too and made up this whole bad Batman ARG fake story that you had hackers behind the scenes get into her YouTube channel and find this secret encrypted unlisted video that she uploaded days before like killing herself. This is nuts. I can't talk. Looks bad, right? <laughs> it looks bad. It gets worse. It's so cringy. Yes. Yeah. Like how? How? Wait, y'all. Y'all say to me on my shoulders and I'm I want to do my best to be the best representative for y'all because I know a lot of y'all go feel like you've got you've gone unheard and I, I, there is a lot of you know. it's super cringy right it's not just me yeah I am deeply honored to be like this representative for y'all to in my space and to do what it in my space in my space. the things that a lot of people won't do just because it's not very legal. <laughs> you realize by saying this, you are destroying any potential case that you are trying to build on these guys. Why are you trying to catch yes. them through illegal means in the first place? And secondly, even worse, why the fuck would you ever admit to that? When I do see a subject line that interests me, like by like a bounty hunter or like a hitman, uh, not that I would ever respond to such things. He's talking about a hitman or a bounty hunter that he gets in his DMs to talk about the pedophiles. Mikey. Yeah. I found the voice. I would go outside. Play in the snow. It was. You need me some money. Oh my god. Yeah. These pedophiles getting away is directly your fault, and if they end up abusing any kids later, these predators.
is the most delightful dreams. Oh my god. <laughs> this comes down to even fast. There really is no other option. Yes, yes there, children. Dreams. Yeah, so. So, he's doing basically death threats right here towards pedophiles, which, you know, they're bad people. But if you're trying to get them re arrested, not the best thing to do. Look at my Oh, God. This doesn't work. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, no. Okay. Be <laughs> mucky. Uh, because you're a bad people, and I didn't get my money. They just they deserve to get thrown in, even though I'm ruining any chance of them being arrested. Yeah. So this talks a little bit about the Camden issue that he's having now. Got a card on my front fence from the FBI. They were willing to come to my house and leave. So that, this right here is the main person that's come out against Camden. And this- oh, she's a real person. Yeah. <laughs> this is pasted Probably. on her YouTube and not Mama Max's. Uh, it's an interview with Mama Max talking about all the stuff that they feel like they can reveal. Um, it's stupid. Leave a card on my front fence that shows how much more they care about my case than yours. Yeah. But the whole re So Max, Mama Max is getting investigated by the FBI, by the way. The reason Mama Max has been getting so much attention lately is because he decided to take on his most ambitious investigation yet. Not only this time is he taking on a pet file, <laughs> but a vampire werewolf hybrid. Vampire Ooh. werewolf hybrid. <laughs> Pet file. Camden. 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 Gerard Davis. <laughs> did, you, did you see? Oh. Uh, That's so Davis. funny. Leviathans are coming what for you. What the fuck is a Leviathan? A sea. That's great. The Leviathan for you. is actually, um, it's supposed to be like hell. Yeah. Hmm. Replicants like are a by filmmaker. We believe your audience would appreciate this fiery composition. Would you consider exposing them? You can't make this up. You got a girl who was saying she was beaten and raped and went to you to help her out with her story. And you're asking fucking Anthony Fantano to review your music in the same video just a few minutes later that she describes being raped. Yeah. So this, this is a big thing that he's being criticized for. So instead of gathering information like he should and developing a YouTube video that lays everything out and why we should go after this Camden guy, he makes a video calling out big YouTubers like Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, uh, Penguin Zero. Really? Yes. He calls them out and says, if you don't help me, you're helping the pedophile. I said, if you don't help, you know, letting the kids, you know, get affected. So, by right. Those dirty people. Right here, he goes after PewDiePie and he's like, uh, as a parent, you're undoubtedly experiencing the transformative me mechanisms that we describe here. If you find the time, we would be honored if you would share it. Because he's talking about how Felix has a child. Experiencing the trans of Felix. transformative mechanism that we describe here. About it. The banner you're currently enjoying is and deserve. If you would have made a longer yeah. comprehensive documentary detailing how Camden is guilty, this exactly. it's literally proven by your previous videos, it would get 10 times the attention that you're getting right now. All your other long form yeah. content got millions of views, if not at least bare minimum half a million. But this guilt trip, call out other YouTubers approach hasn't even broke 100k. <laughs> if he would just do what he continuously knows works, this would be a good thing. For some reason, he wants to call everybody ideas. out. I got to buy DS. 
Hey. The goal is to give these stories the attention. But he's doing yeah. by this. He's purple for not responding to his DMs yep. about this. The only thing necessary for the trial. So he specifically goes after Charlie because he sends Charlie DMs and Charlie doesn't respond. Charlie usually would respond. I think he would have, but he was also sick this week with COVID. The week that he got those DMs, he was sick. I am for evil is for good men to do not tragedies on his channel trying to push this standard onto people is did he just do the fucking line yes from that movie yes yes he did the fucking asshole yeah piece of shit those are all the Charlie dms didn't respond to your spam messages and your reaction is to make he's a public Charlie. private dms to guilt trip him into covering That's your story so dumb. you're nuts and he knows exactly yep. what he's doing by this he's purposely putting critical on blast publicly yes implying that if you don't Help cover me. my story then you don't care about children getting raped and weaponizing his audience to spam critical to guilt him into That's talking about it so just because dumb. charlie has a lot yeah. of subscribers and influence doesn't mean really. he bears this responsibility to talk about world tragedy oh, or have proof of but after critical Correct. Yes, Marissa. His uh, mother is. And he docks this guy without giving proof or evidence of anything. He tells where his brother lives, where his mother lives, where what a he works. Fucking asshole. Yeah. Seriously. Yes. One hundred percent. Currently, like, it, you could tell this is not a real person. You know. Like, like, like this is like. What are they called? Uh, those horror things, like uh, you know, where you watch mm -hmm. and like, oh, you interact. It's not oh. real. That's what it is. Where his it reminds me is. of. Yeah, but I mean, he he really does go after people. Like, yeah, Do, does he though? I, I don't know. Two of the videos are what we talked about earlier. So there's the yeah. one with the girl which seems to be a proven false. Um, so, and then there's another one. Um, the other <laughs> six, I think they haven't found too much evidence, but they're still going through his stuff right now. Um, which we'll talk about later. Dude, oh my God. He does for sure Seriously. have a brother named someone asked, uh, to type out Camden's brother's name. I, I, will I love go ahead and the teeth. Involved, yeah. Right. Like they're like the mom didn't help out Camden with. So this guy interviewed him. Oh, really? Yeah. He interviewed uh, Mama Max, the guy uh -huh. that we're watching this video. Um, and it's it's bad. His potential. Listen to this to these kids or the brother. Like you can't prove either of that. Correct. Yeah. Uh, correct. So he's doxing innocent people publicly to thousands. Can't prove it. Ant refuses to well, bring yeah. out the information. Directing his audience to find the location of them, which you know, Max, given the nature of the internet and especially your audience, will 100% get them harassed. So, yes. If it helps them catch Camden, then the ends justify the means. Your exes doxed your mom when they came out with their... Okay, so he says the ends justify the means. So he doesn't care that people are getting doxed. Well, now we're going to go to his past where he gets accused by four ex-girlfriend interest type people of him being a pedophile and really? into things. And it's all kind of a video gets posted to his ex-girlfriend's boyfriend's YouTube. Uh -huh. And they all accuse him like four or five people. And he's like, no, I didn't do anything like that. Oh, I'm not it a wasn't pedophile. Me. Don't don't believe all people. Allegations <laughs> against you. Are you safe? And how do you stay positive after the things you cover? I am currently safe. My mom is not so safe after you know, Max has doxed her. Doxed. Yeah, his mom got doxed. This was well before any of this happened. So he knows how uh, it feels to be doxed. So you would think, you know, like how it, it feels. 
He wouldn't do it, but he does it. Me and her. I mean, they should have known doxing me was not a good idea. <laughs> If anyone should know this, it's fucking you. And this isn't even the first time that he's doxed really? family members in his investigations, oh even though he has no proof of them being guilty. Oh, he did yeah. the same thing with Pablo Sonny's dad and doxed him in his IMVU video. But continuing the timeline of Max trying to take down Camden, he then makes a YouTube wow. short a little after these streams to announce new updates on the case and that he's now working with the Atlanta Bar Association to ensure... Bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Seriously. And and all of his YouTube videos and stuff like right now are all down. He took everything down about Camden. Yeah, because yeah. Sure that it, justice is served and to locate so Camden. With new yep. survivors and witnesses coming forward. We are currently in contact with law enforcement and the Atlanta bar. So Fuck this up. Hey, just to let you know. The most egregious example of this is I'm when he fucking accused making all the entire platform up. of YouTube <laughs> of supporting and protecting pedophiles just because he had two of his videos yeah. struck down for violating TOS. Our children are exploited, molested, and raped every day. And you choose to... Is this wow. a joke? We do. So he Seriously. got mad. So he got mad because two of his videos were taken down. One of them, like I just showed you right there, he didn't censor the butt of that one character. So there's a straight up naked butt right there. I should be allowed yeah. to show butts. Wait. It, uh, fuck you. <laughs> so here's the part with the girlfriends. Um, until I have verifiable proof that they are a pedophile. Back so he says he needs verifiable proof that they are a pedophile before yeah. he accuses. In July 2022, Mama okay. Max was accused of being a pedophile, abuser, and rapist well, now in a does. video by four of his exes and previous friends. Four For the most part, exes. I can't oh, confirm whether he's guilty or innocent of a lot of these things he's accused of in this video due to it just being his word versus his exes. But the guy who uploaded the video is someone named Magnetar, who's a YouTuber with 30k subs, but also the boyfriend of Haley, which was one of the girls who came out against Max in the video. So he and his girlfriend reached out to a lot of other girls that Mama Max has previously been interested in to craft the video and then he uploaded it on his public platform because he already had a pretty big YouTube channel. And in Max's hour and five minute long video responding to the allegations, in the last six minutes for some reason he accuses Magnetar, actually he doesn't even accuse Magnetar, he I states Magnetar is a pedophile for 100% of a fact while saying his full legal name and doxed where he worked at the time. Anthony Field, Haley's boyfriend, Magnetar on YouTube. The one who published this video on me. He straight up calls him one. You know what his proof is? Nothing. One person. A Twitter that, message. That, that he. Yep. And his proof to show this is Max talking to some girl in Instagram DMs who claims that Magnetar sent his dick to her when she was a minor. Most likely he was probably a minor as well. This is it? Uh, are you fucking serious? You don't even have any yeah. screenshots of Magnetar even interacting with this girl one-on-one? -on -one? Not a single conversation. And based off of this, you're calling him a 100% pedophile just off her testimony that it happened. It's fucking poetic. In the same video that you claim you have been falsely accused by five different girls yeah. you do the same thing to Magnetar, not even accusing him, just stating he's a pedophile yeah. based off of one girl's story. If you think one girl's testimony is enough to prove that Magnetar as a pedophile, with your own logic, you would now have to admit that you're guilty of being an abuser, rapist, and pedophile yourself since five girls. Wow. So, uh, it doesn't work like that. I don't know. Uh, Based off, why of is that insane? Huh? Oh. Yeah, but I'm asking what it's based off of, and what you're telling me is like one girl's accounts. And like, I think that's fine we, for you so, to believe it behind the scenes. But I think when you have a 750k sub YouTube channel and you're confidently calling someone a pedophile, you gotta have like a higher bar. Don't you think so? I think we should listen to survivors. I agree, Mac. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should listen to survivors. Okay. Well, uh, then you should be canceled, sir. 
goddamn difficult to believe actual victims. Oh yeah, also, he threatened to strike my channel down in Discord DMs after I had a conversation with him on stream, claiming I promote a community that bullies child sex victims. Real big man. Real big yeah, man. Just, this guy's not like a lol cow, he's just a piece of shit. Yeah. He's a piece of shit that lies. Yeah. He's getting away with the lies. Now, he could have found one pedophile and he's like, oh my god, I can I stop it because I've seen people on YouTube do it and I'll get a ton of hits. And he did it. Then he probably did it again. And, and then again. he ran out of fucking material. Ooh. So then he's like, well, if I stage it and make it into a pokey, but because this generation is so fucking retarded, mentally challenged. I mean, um, the, the, the fake stuff doesn't work because uh, they're not creative and they don't know how things work. That's why it's like this woman that I uh, I I uh, I found her by hacking the system and blah blah blah. One the hacking doesn't work that way, and you're not yeah. a hacker, so right. I, you've never acted like a hacker before. You don't have anybody in a team, and then oh, this person has a video that had the most serious. I'm okay. Sorry, I accidentally clicked that, but <laughs> um, <laughs> this is uh, Mustafar. Who is Mudahar. a Mudahar? I always say it wrong. Ordinary gamer. Yes, thank you. He used to do creepy pastas, and I used to fucking watch it. That's and then awesome. he doesn't do it anymore, so I don't watch him. Oh, uh, but so I know who Mudahar is. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so now he's coming after Mama Max because he used to be friends with him. Like they were good friends, it seemed like, and. When all this started coming up, like him and Turkey Tom and other people in the community were like, OK, we're going to give him a chance to come forward and and show us the evidence and stuff like this. And he actually he got to see the evidence. He got mm -hmm. to see the evidence off camera and he still said it was not enough to convict. It was not enough to to make a video and be like, ah, look. So. He doesn't go into him very hard, so there, there's just some stuff I want to point out here. I think it's right here. Destructive cults are growing. An enemy of the children is an enemy of us all. God cult is translated to guard our descendants. That's the cult. It's about protecting children. He asks us to share Spencer's story and asks the audience to contact several large YouTubers. Some of so Spencer is the girl that is uh, that was hurt by camden by the way them include h3h3 some of them include joe rogan some of them include anthony fontano literally he is in this video asking anthony fontano check it out there's a cool there's a cool banger you're hearing in the same video where he is discussing very serious allegations and very very serious stories regarding victims you can imagine why a lot of people are looking at this as him treating this as a joke it's not yeah so i mean he does little drops like that and it it's not good mama max this is a five minute video explaining the current this is the new youtube guys this yeah. is the new youtube we have low house and then we have people that make up shit because you know oh i i listen to cr like uh true crime stories and you know i gotta do all this stuff and i'm the good guy and hey you know what i'm doing all this stuff i should get the big youtubers to help me and if you don't you're a pedophile you know that word is kind of like Nazi because everybody uses it now, not knowing what the fuck it means. Yep. Provide context to what you're showing. So I'm going to go frame by frame and show you each and every single screenshot to show you exactly what he's shown. So one of the actual posts he shows is from Whisper, a social media app that promotes you to speak openly and honestly about yourself. It's meant to be this anonymous social media app that lets you post and share photo messages with text embottled on top of them. Here's the post where they're asking the reader if they're human, they want to learn about being supernatural, and if their age is between 11 to 18. Please message them. Now, while this is an alarming post, it would help if Max could try to, you know, link this directly to Kate. So he goes through and he shows evidence like that. That's just one of the things. Um, watch his video for more information on that. Um, just because I don't want to go through and point out all the stuff he does. There is one thing, like the one thing that he finds the most interesting, I believe. If you're interested in the complete accounting from her end regarding the story, I highly recommend you go check okay. her video out. So that is 
her video. Uh, Slime Beast is uh, her channel. And you can watch the full interview between her and Mama Max. Um, so he goes on. I'm trying to find. So there, he sits down. Like all of them sit down with Mama Max. And they try and go over some stuff like, hey, why don't you release this? Why don't you release that? Why don't we, you know, go over the evidence? And he's, he's constantly fighting them. Max to detail and describe. If he's not putting in the effort, how can he reasonably ex expect every other influencer in the world to put in the effort to interview and understand and then make claims on cases like this. Now, what you're about to hear is a portion of a call that me, Max, Spencer, and another YouTuber by the name of Nicholas Diorio had when interviewing and confronting Max about the situation. And while the first hour of that call was more centered around Spencer's story, the second hour of this call was more around Max's demeanor and his actions regarding this investigation. And there are quite a few bombshells in here that we personally feel are a little too irresponsible, I guess if you wanted to put it lightly. Uh, Max had actually revealed to us that there were portions where he didn't even properly vet and timeline all of the evidence. I guess the challenge for me with showing, showing the evidence is I personally have not been walked through the evidence besides Spencer's. Um, the survivors in the server, not all of them are as active as we would like them to be. Uh, obviously a lot of them have trauma, they talk about it and that it's hard for them to actually just sit down and, and speak with me. Um, but that's that's why I've been just asking the general public to please be patient. Like, there's a lot of things we need to wait then for. Then why break it? I am just trying to get the word yeah. out that this is Camden Gerard Davis. This is what the accusation Well, this is a streamer tomorrow. saying he, why he and can't cover also, it. You can also, like, we are fine saying this is all alleged. Like, we are fine if... But you can't just say it's alleged now. You've been calling no, him a pedophile. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's not... Consistently build. You're clearly... Talk about it and that it's hard for them to actually just sit down and, and speak with me. Um, but that's that's why I've been just asking the general public to... This is Camden Gerard Davis. This is what the accusations against him are. Uh, and it's also... You can also, like... We are fine saying this is all alleged. Like, we are fine if... But you can't just say it's alleged now. You've been calling no, him a pedophile. He, yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's not... I'm fine doing it because I, I trust them. But... Okay, but all, you, you, all but you said do... you didn't review most of the evidence besides Spencer, though. I reviewed the evidence. I just haven't had the context as to what it is pertaining to. So you looked at the evidence, but you don't understand. How yeah, in the in the exact timeline, which has been why, what, just one of many reasons why it's been you, such a struggle to create the comprehensive timeline. As, but, as I'm but, waiting on a yeah, lot of different things. But you see, that's why that's why people are inflamed with you right now. It's because you you just told me in this call that you didn't properly review every single victim, and and now, and just from this one. So he just said that he did not review all of the stuff so he's not putting in the time and effort to do anything so that to me alarm bells right and then we go on can you hear me yeah uh, I'm, i was talking to max though <laughs> yeah you can hear me why are you running cover for these vampire yeah that's exactly what i'm doing keem Good shit. <laughs> in yep. the Minecraft community, you're going yeah. around, you're running cover. That's for my a fucking, fucking cult. Storm of yep. EDP 445s. You're going to play the me. world with EDP. <laughs> he's making it a joke. He gets Keemstar on there and he's making it a literal joke. I, like, this is disgusting behavior. her profile picture. The image is from Naruto. Now, how could one reverse search and find that specific? So now he's breaking down past videos like we saw in the other video. You can't reverse search something on YouTube unless it's a thumbnail. Right. So YouTube page. Screenshot of IMVU profile, Naruto character, and YouTube page. So this is the one right over here, yeah. Naruto profile picture. Why did she 
itself or disappeared off the internet. Oddly enough, the completely inactive Casey accounts no longer exist on YouTube and IMVU. This is real bad. They were deleted at the same time Max and Silfit's IMVU accounts were also deleted. The most similar Casey account I could track down in 2002 and appears to be entirely unrelated. And then he claims in a Discord Q&A that Casey is actually alive. Um, what about Pablo Sunny again? Does he and then that's what we kind of heard about a minute ago. Hmm. Um, claim at the end of the day, I haven't had the time to sit down and review every single bit of Max's back catalog as I've been researching his current investigation. However, I think people are pointing to the Discord server that you were an admin of when you were showing it. Uh, the lawsuit hmm. that uh, you changed the name or whatever. Okay. How much uh -huh. of what you do is kayfabe and how much of it is legitimately like live? This is the investigation. Here it is. So the investigations themselves are real, but the obviously the films have fictional elements. Um, Told you. I calls, didn't have to watch this fucking thing to find that out. Right, right, right. He, he calls them films and it's. That's I, I don't. I don't put yourself a real of this or not. The, no. the, he's just saying that so he can still get the Patreon, and he doesn't want to break character because he's making getting money now. Yeah, for people. Yep. And the, it doesn't work if it's just fake. Yep. Why There's would you? Why would you like, give money example, to someone to help him? Thing right. On They're the not Batman. Discord server. I had to recreate it. Yeah, that was a recreate. He had to recreate I didn't have the originals. Uh, the IMVU thing, I, I wasn't, <laughs> I don't know why people are saying I'm, I, like it's a film, like it's, I am presenting it as if it were to be real, but I, told I didn't you. think people yeah. would take it as that. I like, told you. Wait, you All I pedophiles, you don't think that people are going to mm -hmm. think your videos are real? So, so that's the thing. So I want everyone, when you watch my video to assume everything is fake, except like when I show up face and what they're doing. Again, why are we interspersing fact and fiction when it comes to incredibly serious stories like this? Look, I'm not, not here to real. say if Max is definitively faking his stuff or not. People definitely have their suspicions. But the thing about it is, is if you're admitting that you don't want people to think your content is real, how can you honestly take the responsibility to cover serious cases like this? When you're not are serious cases? That, yes. My yep. Yep. I... I know this. I already know this. And I have only seen what you've shown me right here. Right. I know it's fake. It's fake because I could make it. The shit he makes is yeah. cringy as fuck, but I know why he's doing it because he's trying to make it into one of those oh, uh, creepy things that like, oh, it's like a true crime because it's over exaggerated on certain elements that in real life won't happen. You can't cross examinate something that oh, she's real and then you fuck up by saying, oh, she's, she's still alive. But when she was dead, oh, this is the place where they killed me. And it, it's a, a, a YouTube channel that only has one video. And that's where they, 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 they um, you know, grape, you're allowed to say, uh, and uh, essayed her and then killed her. But how would she update that? Yeah. If she's dead. How would she only delete kids it? would think that. Yep. Through the help of one of the victims that reached out to me and they showed me how, yes, one of these channels exist and how they predate on girls in the Georgia area. These are things. So he did reach out to some of the other victims because there's there's the one main victim and then there's like five or six other ones that are won't come out yet. Um, so there there is a YouTube channel and there are some messages that have been seen. Uh, where it's somebody in the Georgia area that is asking for younger girls. And it's disturbing, but it was all handled wrong. Like, okay, uh, things that so there, if we went on 4chan, right, Mikey, today, tonight, right now, mm -hmm. I guarantee we could find some fucked up shit and then take that evidence and make a story around it. Right. That's what he does. Yeah. No, I agree. And then he hears a story about somebody, like, uh, somebody, you know, being essayed mm -hmm. from somebody. They take that photo, right? And then they dramatize the whole event and then circle around where they're a part of it because they're the Mary Sue. Mm -hmm. And then dramatize, but with a deep voice. Oh my God, she, uh, she essayed. And then, you know, she was only 14 years old when the real person was like maybe 
I don't know, 17. Right. But the younger, the worse. And that she had nightmares for the rest of her life. That it, things like that. Yeah. If you're talking about a sexual assault, sorry, you wouldn't say things. You would say she was haunted by that. You have nightmares for the rest of her life. Like it's, it's those little tweaks that I know all this shit is fake. Right. It, and it's, and it's dramatized with reality stuff from the end and all this stuff. The skeleton is real, but it's fake around. And that's, that's fucked up. Yep story that is provided and that's just how the world has always worked and how the world continues to work it's one of other survivors feel when you're saying that it is okay to think that but you're going publicly and saying that to everybody else when you haven't spoken to the others i i'm just trying to understand she gets real mad why would you do that without talking to us i've spoken why with max max is your representative Max is supposed to be the one bringing the story across to everyone. And yes, if in the case that everything why is, is actually... Why is it, why your, is it your job? Because you're the one who's like what? spearheading this. What? I'm, you're the one spearheading it. What do you mean? Fine, give it to okay. Spencer's channel. Why Spencer, you, you upload this whole thing. What? You're the fucking person who's you running the investigation. The oh my this God. is your case. Investigate this as well. And you haven't. Why are you putting it all on me? Like, yes, you're the case. fucking one bringing it. Why are you talking Absolutely. about this case? I am the first one. Yeah. I do not you want to be the only one. You're the only one. Well, then you are the only one. You haven't convinced. Exactly. You haven't made anything. Have, come Give it to okay. Spencer's channel. Spencer, you upload job? this whole thing. Now that I hear this, I think what happened was he went in thinking he had just enough evidence to spark people's interest. And when he made the videos, nobody else jumped on it. So then he tried to force people to jump on it, and no one else jumped on it. And now he's having to walk everything back, but do it carefully to where he doesn't look like a jackass, which he's doing. But he's already a, fucked. The, yeah. the back ain't going to work. Yeah, he's he's already screwed up and and he's still he's trying to walk this minefield and it's not working. Like that, wow. This is bad. Um so here, like this was like 10, 12 days ago at the time of this recording. Well, we have a follow-up video of just a couple Hello, guys days ago. And gals, me Mudahar, and it's been seven days since I covered a pretty uh, wild story on YouTube. One <laughs> Pretty wild. So on this one, I just want to point out that there might actually be something with this. Like I said earlier, he he might have seen something or something like that and just went with it. And like you pointed out, it's quite possibly one of the biggest mistakes you can make when actually threatening litigation, because this is what a court will look at and say, ah, this is why you're actually hitting them because you just want to. Oh, and they also threatened him with uh, a lawsuit of a million dollars. Threatened who? Uh, uh, some ordinary gamers. Oh, really? Yeah. So let me let me go back here. Right here. Higher sex cult case are considering a class action lawsuit against Mudahar for breaching our non-disclosure agreement, inciting harassment on live streams, defamation, and causing emotional distress. He's extremely rich, so the lawsuit seeks $1 million in damages to be distributed between all of you. Now, when I first read this, uh, most people would think that I would do the laugh like, <laughs> But I did not laugh. This is a former friend of mine, and honestly, this is probably one of the most painful things for me to read, because this is somebody that I sat down, had a drink with, had a talk to, gave a heart to heart to, and now, within 24 hours, I basically realized that this person wants to effectively sue me for a large chunk of money, okay? An obscene amount of money. Why? Because to me, uh, all this appears is all I ever was to this man was an extremely rich friend who had enough social media clout for him to piggyback his stupid case off of. 100%. 100%. This, to me, is quite possibly one of the worst, like, internet betrayals I ever had. And if anything, it's, it's the one thing that has pushed me severely away from everybody on YouTube in the last week or two. I really feel like... I have no friends on this platform. And, and I know that's dramatic of me to say, but reading this kind of stuff is just, 
incredibly painful. You have to be in this personal situation to see this. Now, when I read this, I actually did confer with my lawyers. And what's funny is when we talk about the non-disclosure agreement, uh, there was no like solid non-disclosure agreement, at least one that was notarized by legal parties. So my lawyer said that I have really nothing to worry about. And when it comes to inciting harassment, defamation, and causing emotional distress, I would say that I have been very cordial, nice as I can be reasonably. I mean, that seems like some of the stuff I watched, it, he was just like, hey, this this is how it is. He was nice, but he was matter of fact. And I think that's a good thing of it. So here's another thing. So later on, it says all you would have to do is testify against him, particularly regarding his actions, not speaking to any of you about the evidence and the impact his behavior has had on you which is materially false. I have actually spoken to Spencer and the other victims in this situation, uh, some of them privately, obviously. I don't like to make a public case of something that is ongoing. Spencer has agreed to be the lead plaintiff and I'll do all of the hard work. How can you have a- um, So I might've skipped over this a little much, but he, uh, Mama Max uses chat GPT whenever he is uh, looking up legal stuff and chat GPT gets stuff very wrong. And it's, it seems to be getting dumber because it's being fed a lot more different things. Yeah. So just, he's but very misinformed. The nicest I could be. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally. Max is playing a character. Okay. Uh, and this next video, uh, this is leaked footage from one of his editors that came out and had all this possible footage for another video where he was attacking uh, like Charlie and people like that. Dude just leaked it. And it's bad. But what's interesting to me is this clip that you're about to hear. But I am being the nicest I could be. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally cancel you. And I choose not to. <laughs> it's true, though. It, like, it's the truth. Like, I'm the friggin' pedo hunter. Like. <sighs> Just doing my best out here. told the survivors I would not let them down. And let him down he has, because unfortunately this case has been made a giant media circus of on the internet, which yep. again, should never have been the case. Now, one of the clip, this clip that I played to you was literally him mentioning this infamous clip floating around where he's like, I could cancel you, Charlie. Charlie being moist critical, Penguin Zero on the internet, very large content creator, very popular, has an absolutely impeccable record on the internet. Now, this is a clip that really- Another guy that I found before he got big. Yeah. And he, I think Charlie is not cancelable. Like, he'd have to do something very, very bad. Yeah, he's beloved. He's like... And that's out I mean, of his... his voice is perfectly, you know, it's a you know, low, monotone, dumb one. I yeah. always thought he was a fat guy and that he was a small dude. <laughs> you know? Very, very built dude. Like, he, he's jacked. He's not built. He is fucking small. He is a small he, man. He is small. But, he can be ripped all he wants, but he's just a very small guy. But he's ripped, and he's he's pretty strong. You're just saying that because he has, like, you can see the muscles, but, like, compared to a normal guy, he's kind of small. I mean, he's, he's small. Look at him compared to another person. He's small. Corm, I think he could knock you out with like, just a few punches. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Even I mean, if I would never be in a fight with him. Out of you know? context, I mean, or you know. if it has some attachable humor context to it. Look, at the end of the day, when you say that you can cancel somebody because you are a pedo hunter, yet you have zero arrests, that literally puts two things into my head. Either you come up with some random BS evidence and uh, basically ruin somebody's life, or you have evidence and you've just been sitting on it waiting for a proper time to cancel somebody. Both of those are bad. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Uh, and he goes on, and so here is, let's see, I think thing this is with it. this stuff, like, this is a wall, they're asking you, do you recognize, 
One of them an agent for U evidence, I believe, hiding behind for USA girls, mostly in Georgia, USA. Anybody who wants to be a PRP, which, which, okay, you know, so freedom speech, for instance. So this is the YouTube channel that uh, is attached to this cult. It's where they actually talked about, again, things like the Eon Order, the Gilded Divinity, and most importantly, ERP, which... Uh, again, as you all know, is erotic role play. And if you look at some of the actual comments, this is what YouTube should be interested in. If you're a law enforcement agent, you should absolutely get this account subpoenaed. Because again, the actual account itself here talks about, this is for anybody who wants to be a supernatural. Do you have anything for werewolves? Any spells? Nobby, we don't do goddamn spells. One of the comments is downright scary, where they're talking about, we are looking for USA girls, mostly in Georgia, USA. So again, these are accounts that need to be brought up, investigated, and looked at by law enforcement agencies because there could actually be some serious evidence, I believe, hiding behind here that can cause some serious justice for anybody involved in the situation that feels that they've been wronged. So, like, there's possibly something here, but Mama Max has completely... Drained the swamp and yeah. now you can't find the fish. Yeah, so, I mean, he's completely screwed everything up. One of the last things I wanted to cover, too, that really rubbed me the wrong way that I actually didn't mention in my previous video was one situation regarding Max's mega upload folder. Now, Max oh. made numerous investigations. I'm going to summarize this one real quick because he, he does a long explanation of this. So, mega, you know what mega is? It's an upload site. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... He, Mama Max has uploaded some stuff to Mega and he links it in his videos and it's evidence that he points to. And he's like, you can go find this and blah, 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 my Mega. Well, uh, some of his folders have been struck down and for illegal use, which usually means that it is found in a database to match some uh, some CP or other illegal images. Cheese pizza. Uh -huh. Yeah. So the way they do this, and I know this this works, is every image has a hash, right? A hash mm -hmm. is a random string of numbers, and it has to match up exactly, and you can compare two images that way. Well, what they do is they will run this hash through a government database, mm -hmm. and any bad stuff that is on that government database that hash of that image is compared to the images in the file share mm -hmm. and if they match they take down these accounts and they provide all the information to the fbi so remember earlier whenever i said mama max is being investigated by the fbi mm -hmm. this is why there might be illegal images that were found in that folder and and typically, like reproductions do not flag the database. Like it, it's it has to be an exact original. So I'm not saying that he has illegal stuff on there, but I can't say that he doesn't. And and usually, like if you have evidence, you don't store it on a public upload like that like you you give it all to the cop so if he has helped like if he has evidence he needed to give that over to the legal evidence like that's that's really really bad really really bad so mama max has completely screwed up any kind of help these people might get any kind of investigation into this they have he is severely messed up He's getting himself investigated by the FBI for illegal content, possibly. He has, like, screwed over all of his friends. He has attacked people on the internet. This guy is despicable. I don't understand how you can let something go this far and still, still want to double down. Um... At this, because you're all, you're so deep in it, you can't get out. Right, right. And, and at this point, like after uh, some ordinary gamers' last video, 
everything got removed from Mama Max's channel mm -hmm. pertaining to this instant. And he's working on what he's going to do next. So as of right now, there's, we don't know where this is going to be left. But I, I, I hope that Mama Max just goes away, takes the L, and quietly walks away. Because I don't, it's not gonna, it's not gonna end well, right? I don't see any good coming from this if he continues to push. Because it's, it's, he screwed up too much. Oh man, that is, uh, we talked about some deplorable people in these episodes yeah, this yeah. week. Oh man. Uh okay. I guess that's it. Unless you had something else to say, Gorm. Oh dear God. I don't I don't want to change my voice again. Yeah, screw <laughs> this guy. <laughs> okay. Uh be sure to go to Banana Bear Show on YouTube and like, subscribe, show us some love in the comments. Let us know what you think Mama Max should do. And uh By the way, he has a dumb fucking name. Yeah. Yeah. I why why is he Mama Max? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't look into it that far. I was just uh, amazed at this whole situation and how he could let things go this far. Uh, well, we'll see you next video. Bye. <sighs>